welcome back to my channel. I am Megan. Um, it's been a while. I got um, sick. You know, everything was going around. So hopefully you guys are staying healthy. Let me know that you guys are all doing well. Um, but I got some of the stuff that was going around. I actually lost my voice. I've never truly lost my voice before. And my kids just thought that was hilarious. I could not speak. And then when I got it back, I was just... I coughed and coughed. It was just so it made it hard to do a video and actually I didn't feel well. So um, painting was not on my top 10 things to do. And then when I did start feeling well, I decided to deep clean um, my house. Go figure. I don't, I don't know. So I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to do a dancing chain pull. I've done a dancing string pull. I will link to that in case you haven't seen those. And I love them. But I also like the way um, chain pulls are or look. So I'm going to see what it does when I do a dancing chain pull. Where did my little thing go? This is just... I actually have had this for a while. I don't remember why I got it. Um, oh, that part of the box doesn't say what it is. This is a, either does this, well I opened it. It's just a ceiling fan chain that I picked up at Walmart. Um, a lot, I've had it for a long time, in fact I came across it the other day when I was cleaning my kitchen. <laughs> um, so it moves a bit different than a string. And since I'm not laying it out and pulling it, I'm actually gonna be dancing it around the canvas. I'm not sure what that's gonna do, but we're gonna, we're gonna go with it. So, um, I painted this canvas before I got sick, so it's been um, probably a few weeks now. Um, and I painted it with this in mind, so it's very basic. I just used some um, I don't what brown, and I used that pearl pink. No, I didn't. I used pearl amaranth red is what I used, and some um, titanium white. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flood the canvas with um, Glowtrol mixed with water. One of the reasons I haven't done a string, a dancing string pull in a while is because when it got really, really, really hot, I was having problems with my Glowtrol. It was really like extra goobery and I don't know, it was just, I was wondering if the heat. So I hadn't gotten Glowtrol in a while. So I'm going to flood the canvas with Glowtrol mixed with a little bit of water. Um, and then I'm going to do the dancing string pull with this color. And I think I'm going to mix some dark blue. Um, I don't think I have any dark blue already mixed. Just got blue. Just well, got actually, blue. I have this. I have some phthalo just blue. blue. So I think I'll do these two colors. Or I may just stick just with this. Blue. Thank you. Um, I'm going to start with this and see if it needs a second color. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking green, maybe. I can't get you a green. Hmm. I may use these two colors instead. Just I'm going to mix it up so I have options. Mom, but let's get green. mixing the flow drop. So here it is. I'm going to do this um, this way, but I'm not really sure. I usually dip my string in the paint and then pull it out. Um, okay, so I'm going to do my um, chain pull this way, but um, I'm not really sure because when I do my dancing string pulls, I dip my string in the paint and then get most of it off and then dance it across. Um, so this is kind of new territory for me because I'm not sure if I should dip my chain in and pour it and then pull it through. Um, I have done that with a, with a string pull and it works okay. So I may do that rather than just dipping my chain in. Um, first I'm going to flood the canvas though. And I definitely recommend that you flood the whole canvas and not just the area you're going to want to do it on because I have had with Floetrol, um, a little bit of color change 
almost yellowish, um, but just, just barely. Um, not really discernible unless you um, are staring right at it and you get really close. But because of that, um, it works better, I think, if you just, if you flood the entire key. Oh, look, there's a, there's a dog hair. Um, and a little bit thinner is better. I've done it both, but if it's, if you don't have um, some water in there, it does um, hold, it, it doesn't dry, um, oh, what's that word? It doesn't find its own, um, level so like if you leave it like this it may spread a little bit but it won't totally and you'll dr it'll dry with ridges that's one thing i've learned um, but if you thin it out a little bit and then spread it around it doesn't do that now the only problem with using floetrol um i've tried this with um pouring medium and i've tried it with deco art i tried it with anything else um and it doesn't create, I'll insert a picture here, the, those like web lines, I really like the way that happens. And I haven't been able to get that um, with anything other than Floetrol. So um, that's what I'm sticking with. All right, so there's my coat or my layer of Floetrol. I'm going to put a lid on that real quick and set it to the side. All right, so like I said, I think I'm going to pour the paint on there and then dance it through. Oh, as I was saying before my dog started barking and I had to stop the video. Uh, the problem with Floetrol is because it's milky when it's wet, um, you can't see underneath it. Like I, When I did it once with pouring medium, pouring medium is a lot more clear. Um, it would be great with resin because resin is completely clear when it's wet and you're pouring it and you can see exactly what you're doing. Um, pouring medium is a little more clear, but it doesn't do that webby look. It just kind of spreads. Um, and I like the webby look. It's what I like about the dancing uh, string poles. So, you know, I stick with, with what works. But, again, you are stuck not being able to see. So you kind of have to have your idea in your head before you start this so you know exactly where... Um, on the painting you want to go. So I think I'm going to go straight with this. All right, now let's see what happens with the chain. I have never used the chain for this. And it's a little less, uh, like I can pull a string taut and get it to move, but when this moves, it's like, it does its own thing. I can make the string do exactly what I want it to. I can't with this, so... And I'm afraid it's going to be heavier and scrape the, and the canvas. I don't know. We're just, we're going to see. Ooh, well that's, no, nope. that's pretty cool. Ooh, that's kind of neat, isn't it? Oh, I like that a lot. Okay. Well, so far so good. I really like that. Okay, I'm going to wipe it off a little bit. I'm going to go through this one more time so that I get more of this, that's the webbing I was talking about. Um, if you saw, it kind of sunk into the flow trawl and some of that went over it instead of got dragged by it, um, which I get sometimes with the string too. But. Yeah. It's going over the chain better than it goes over the string. The string has a tendency to float a little bit more than sink. So I think what I'm going to do is try and pull some of this uh, flow trial. I'll make sure there's, let's take a different section of the chain that doesn't have paint on it yet. And I'm going to drag some just straight flow trial through here. It's still sinking. Oh, that looks like a butterfly wing, doesn't it? Okay. So I like that, but I don't like that as a finished uh, design. What I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to add the second color just a little bit. This is that uh, pearl sea green. Um, I don't want much of this, so I think I'm just going to go, I think I'm going to go right here, right in the middle. And pull it through. Alright, 
definitely start at this edge so that I don't pull blue into that part of the green. Ah, there we go. There we go, just a little bit of that. And actually, I like what that did to it. It kind of pulled it together. So, I think, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I like that. You know, I have, it's easy to forget that there's a painting underneath and look at it and see it as not enough, but there is a painting underneath with its own detail. So I'm gonna leave it there um, and let's see how it dries. It will take probably, it usually takes 24 hours to dry um, to wear and a little bit less as it, as it, you know, usually by about 12 hours. Before I go to bed tonight, I should be able to see through it um, enough to see if I really like it or not um, once the background comes through. But when it's dry, um, I'll be back to show you what it looks like when this is all clear.